driverless automatic guided industrial vehicles. It doesn't matter if they're an AGV or a mobile robot or anything in between. ASTM F45 is really about performance standards. There are two kind of main terms that are typically used to differentiate between some of these types of vehicles. One is AGV or automatic guided vehicles and then mobile robots with a bit more intelligence or more autonomy. The term that we use within our committee is AUGV, where the A can stand for automated, automatic, or autonomous. AUGV is a blanket term that we came up with so that we can have AGVs and mobile robots and any other technologies that come along all be evaluated in the same ways. You can imagine that it's a very tedious job to just go from point A to point B, day in, day out, hour after hour. What these vehicles do is they offload the humans from having to do that work. The challenge of mobile robotics is that it's very, very fast moving and the technology is exciting. You've got things on wheels, you've got things on legs, you've got up to cameras and vision and active laser. There's just this massive range of technology. There's a lot of different applications for these industrial autonomous vehicles, such as delivery of parcels or payloads. There are types of vehicles that carry a trailer behind them. They're called tuggers. Primarily, they carry things to where they're needed. Moving things between different machines that are producing parts. Having to get from point A to point B, avoid obstacles along the way, or make decisions on which different path it's going to take. There are warehouse applications, there are manufacturing applications. Things are really accelerating right now. In the AUGV industry, there wasn't anything that actually provided standard measurement technique for these types of vehicles. There are performance standards that are needed because right now the buyers of robots really don't understand what it is robots can do. This committee is very much about trying to actually give people the power to say, this is what I need, and does your robot meet that performance specification? I think participating in the ASTM process exposes you to a range of uses for these new technologies. Because they will bring in issues and tasks that are meaningful to the industry. We're finding participation all around the world. We're bringing in people from manufacturing, people who are using the systems, people like myself who are more on the research or academic side. It's really cool to see the whole industry gathering together to do the things that I thought were needed for so long, and it's actually fun to participate.